I'll try to keep it PG. It's more simple to edit. <laughs> no, I, I prefer if you carry that around. Okay. <laughs> okay. How's it going, guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day today. My name is Danny in hoodie, and I'm here with my boy, the Real K Kage. And today, I actually want to ask you: Have you ever abandoned anyone before? Like a good friend of yours? I mean, I don't cut a lot of people off, but abandoned? I don't know. And like their time of need after smoking oh, with them? Oh no, nah, never mind. No, I ain't do that, bro. <laughs> well, I have. Uh, have you ever smoked before? With the uh, actually, well, let's rewind that question. Have you ever met anybody famous? And if so, who's the most famous person you met? Trust me, there's no wrong answers. Well, sadly, because my life is trash, I've never met anybody famous. That's Cap, because you've met me. Anyways. <laughs> well, that's definitely shite. <laughs> Those are the two themes of this story. Weed and... <laughs> abandonment of your best friend. And today's story is going to be about how I and a good friend of mine smoked with a famous... Well, sort of a famous wrestler. And... Uh, how I also abandoned him in his time of need, and he almost probably could have died. <laughs> I'd never do that to you, bro. Please! Do not! I know, this is my lover right here. I would never do hey, that to you. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, no. Ha! <laughs> Gay! But yeah, in this story, you're going to hear about how I smoked and played uh, Smash Bros with a sort of famous wrestler. And then also the next morning, how I abandoned my friend in his time of need. So, without further ado, okay, let's get started and cue the intro. So back in 2020 during the COVID season, uh, of course when everyone was in lockdown and whatnot, me being a wrestling fan, there were still shows going on and uh, one of my best friends who I'm gonna name, let's, uh, let's call him, I, I don't know, what should I call him? Call him Jimmy. All right. <laughs> Why you be tripping, man? I mean, come on, I'm finally a part of something very much. Jimmy, those people you're hanging out with are no good. Yo, don't be dissing my niggas, dog. My best friend Jimmy and I went to a wrestling show. Uh, this was back in 2020, and there was a wrestler who was featured on the show. Uh, I'll call him... Uh, I'll call him Snake. I don't know why. <laughs> He's not a snake, but it's like the first thing that came to my head. <laughs> okay, I'll call him Frog. How about that? That works. And froggy, leap. Okay, well here I come. But I'm hey. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. <laughs> so Frog was performing that night, and so me and Jimmy went to the show. And so afterwards, uh, I think Jimmy was his ride uh, because he was close with the organization that the wrestling was taking place at. And uh, so because of that, he got uh, Frog's contact information and they settled on when they're gonna do the ride and whatnot. I don't know too much about it, I don't remember, but yeah, so that's set. So after the show, uh, me and Jimmy and another friend of ours went to this one fast food place called Steak and Shake, and we ate there and then watched this UFC fight. <laughs> uh, and so afterwards, um, we found out that Jimmy was, not Jimmy, we found out that Frog was at this restaurant called Twin Peaks that's located in my city. And so I think the plan was for me and Jimmy to go and get Frog from Twin Peaks. And I'm not too familiar with all that, but pretty much we winded up uh, going to Twin Peaks where Frog was uh, flirting with the waitress. Uh, of course, you're Flexing his status as a wrestler. And you know, I gotta wear it's my the, wrestling shirt. It's the only way to go, please. Oh yeah, bro. And. This is gonna make sense when I mention this, but he's talking to a black waitress. And so, <laughs> this wrestler is white, by the way. And so, nothing comes from that. They're just flirting and whatnot. And then you see other people who are wrestling fans in the uh, restaurant see him and he, talking to him, getting autographs, taking a picture. And so, uh, the plan uh, from there was for me, Jimmy, and Frog to go back to Frog's hotel room because the next day, um, 
Jimmy was gonna drive Frog to the airport that's located in our city. And so we wanted to just pretty much chill for the night. And so Frog had invited Jimmy and I, surprisingly, to his hotel room to play Smash Bros. But he also asked if we had any green on us. Uh, the little ganja, the smoke the smoke. You know how that is. Oh, my local drug dealer right here. Not even close. <laughs> You smoking my shit? Hell no, nah. fuck with your shit? Hell no. Nah. You smoking my shit? Now why would I do some shit like that? I don't wanna have to fuck you up, Smokey. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. No, I've only done like twice at most. Yeah, twice. And it was different, I promise you. <laughs> I've only done it twice. <laughs> I don't know, you're kind of jittery right now. Your lungs feeling black? Not at all. <laughs> my was black after the events because my friend hated me and wanted to curse me out, so I got a black hole in my heart from that moment. <laughs> what did you do to this? Oh. We will get there, my friend. And so, uh, we're trying to figure out where to get the green from so that we can smoke with him back in his hotel room. So eventually we found a guy, one of uh, Frog's friends, he had some, so... Uh, we were gonna get it from him, but then someone from Twin Peaks actually uh, had some that he gave to Frog, so we didn't have to waste any more time. Yeah, huh? wrestling, wrestling status, bro. If you are a wrestler or a famous person and you just need something, just that little bit of a push to have a fun night. In the middle of a restaurant is crazy, bro. I mean, they did the thing outside. They oh, oh, okay. so that is <laughs> insanity. <laughs> Yeah, though, I think he uh, followed him to his car and then, yeah. So after he got the green, after Frog got the green from the nice customer of the restaurant, uh, me, Jimmy, and him drove back to uh, Frog's hotel room. But since we wanted to play uh, Smash Bros, uh, Frog didn't have a Switch at the time, but Jimmy did. So we dropped Frog off back to the hotel, then we drove all the way to Jimmy's house to get the switch, and then we drove back to his hotel room. And so, we're just sitting in his room chilling, we're uh, loading up Smash Bros, we're uh, lighting up the green, and so we're just pretty much chilling, having a good time. Jimmy is good at it, uh, fucking Frogs, he's really good at Smash Bros. Me, I know nothing about it like that, so, I I died every time and so we're doing that in smoking and so we're just talking random stuff and uh, we're having an actual conversation while playing too like having a good time and laughing and so I think this is probably within half an hour of us playing and smoking so me <laughs> okay so this is kind of how the setup was the TV is right here where uh, Kay and I are sitting is where I'm sitting right here Jimmy's sitting right here and behind us is the bed where Frog's sitting and so as we're smoking, like I have the controller in one hand and I have the <laughs> bullet in one hand. And so out of nowhere, <laughs> from behind us, Jimmy goes, because he's high as fuck, like so are me and Jimmy. Uh, so Frog, out of nowhere, just goes, man, I surely do like the look of my white cum on black skin. Hey, yo. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> Bro, and so let me tell you, when Jimmy and I <laughs> heard that, so this was my reaction. So I could see from my peripheral vision, Jimmy's looking at me like, and so when he says that, I literally stop what I'm doing. I stop smoking. I go, Like, I'm not even looking at Frog, I'm looking at Jimmy, and Jimmy's looking at me. We both look at each other, then we both look back forward, and we're like... And so, it was the so, most... So Frog's a little sus is what I'm hearing. No, he's not sus, but that shit was left field. And and so he brought up the waitress from Twin Peaks, and he he was talking about her when he said that. Like, we didn't know it at first. Oh, and so oh, he, kept, oh, okay. he kept going on with it, and me and Jimmy are just like, what is he talking? about like in our heads we didn't say this out loud and so it's like dude why are you talking about this right now this is so fucking weird <laughs> terrible time man i know first no time goes in there either yeah. nope first because that's the funny thing because uh frog had actually invited some of the twin peaks waitresses back to his hotel room but none of them showed up so i think that's when he said it so much for wrestling status <laughs> You gotta be like a like a rapper or something they would have came back then oh god bro hey Y'all looking for Felicia? She in there or what? She 
kind of preoccupied with some real nigga dick. Fuck you say, little nigga? It was either that or just they were still working. I don't know. I don't remember what time this was, but it might have been around maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning when this happened. And so, yeah, he keeps going on with that conversation. And we don't know what to say. And so I'm like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Let's go, Jimmy. It's time to go. <laughs> time to go. <laughs> Doing that freaky stuff. <laughs> and then, so, after that, I mean, it went back to a normal conversation. And uh, we pretty much stayed up all night playing Smash. Even after that awkward moment, uh, we, we were still starstruck. Because, come on, it's a famous wrestler. And how often do you get a chance to actually smoke weed and play games with a wrestler? Like, right. Despite right. what he may say, it was a fun night. We all had a good time. And... Look, him and Jimmy and I didn't hold anything against it, but it was just a really weird thing to say out of like nowhere when the discussion had nothing to do with either girls, sex, or nut. <laughs> Good lord. Probably, bro. My dude was trying to be on his Magic Johnson type shit. Chill, chill. Oh god. Without the AIDS. Hopefully. That's all right. You. You didn't mind being a daredevil every now and then. Around six or seven in the morning, uh, we pack up, uh, we go downstairs so that Frog can uh, check out. And so we travel to the airport that's close by in our city. And so uh, me and Jimmy are waiting outside the airport just to make sure that Frog got through safe and sound that he can get on his plane. So. Uh, Frog, he goes inside the airport to try to check in for his flight, but I think it either got canceled or he missed it. I think it might have got canceled or something. I don't remember. There, something happened and he just couldn't get to that flight. So because of that, he had to go to another close by airport. But the thing is, it was uh, in Columbia, Georgia, which is about an hour away from Augusta. And so uh, keep in mind, we're all still going off of probably no sleep because we were all not all not we oof, I can't speak you stupid bitch you filthy slut we were up all night smoking and playing games so we just never went to sleep the plan was for us to get like at least an hour of sleep but we were just having too much fun and so you blow it up sometimes oh yeah and uh <clears throat> so yeah we as soon as Frog tells us that he needs to go to Columbia and ask Jimmy to take him um dead tired him and I, Jimmy asks uh, me if I could ride with him uh, to the airport and then him and I can shift driving back and forth. Me being tired as fuck, immature, and <laughs> just, I don't know why, but I tell him, bro, I'm kind of just tired. Do you take me home? <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> that is crazy. Look, he trying to compromise at least. Yeah, so I'm not thinking clearly in my head because of all these factors going on. And so I ask him to take me home because I just want to go to sleep and I'm tired. Not realizing that I could have just slept in the car the whole way, then he could have slept while I drove back. I wasn't thinking about that. No, I just wanted to go home, get in my nice comfy bed and go to sleep and get that random thought about this dude mentioning some white cum on this black girl's skin. Oh no. <laughs> Look, my boy said that's not his problem, man. Look, you got, you got somewhere to go, not me. Take me home. Yeah. In retrospect, I, I, I felt bad though thinking about it today. I mean, I laugh at it now, don't get me wrong, it was like years ago. But <laughs> so he takes me home and uh, he drives me, not me, he drives a uh, frog all the way to Columbia and then he comes back, he gets back safe and sound, thankfully. But he's telling me, like, that <laughs> he was pissed off at me, uh, understandably so. And he told me that he <laughs> was like falling asleep, kind of like trying not to fall asleep on the road driving back. And so he's drive like he tells me first of all he's driving to Columbia with Frog, and so Frog's just like passed out in a passenger seat, <laughs> safe and sound. And I'm pretty much back at home sleeping. And this is a real one. Yeah, Jimmy, you are a real one, brother. Like, he's we're still good friends to this day. I'm thankful you forgave me for that. <laughs> I promise. You a real one, boy. You, be, you would be right in the back seat. <laughs> well, you sleep all you want. After he made that come statement, oh no. 
Like, you know, the wrestlers be kind of built. Yeah, they yeah. do. Like, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything to him about it. Because, first of all, I didn't know how to respond to that, even if I wanted to say anything. And two, let's just say he's high enough to where he gets pissed for me saying something and he wants to whoop my ass. And introducing his tag team partner from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. Hey, at least he at least he clarified. Yeah. And <laughs> so uh, Jimmy tells me when he sees me or whatever he, when he's driving back from dropping uh, Frog off to the airport in Columbia. He's telling me he's just like having the hardest time staying awake. Like he had to go to the gas station and buy some like sugar candy and gummies and like a, probably an energy drink or something just to try like splash water on his face too, just to, like keep him awake. And so thankfully, like I said, he gets back safe and sound. And he's telling me all of this. And <laughs> like in my head when he's telling me this, I felt. So so bad but like deep down like the way he was describing how he was trying to stay awake was kind of funny like and I know it sounds fucked up but <laughs> it was funny how he was describing it <laughs> I'm in danger but no I felt really bad about it and like I said this happened back in 2020 and so he's been holding on to this since then like he will mention this all the time to me uh, like not just really out of nowhere, but when we're talking about something that has to do with like friendship or like hanging out with people, he he'll find some way to slip <laughs> that shit in and just mention, oh um, yeah, well I mean at least it won't be like that time where Jordan abandoned me. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I... <laughs> Help me, nigga. Can't go on no type of trips with Jordan Wood. No, <laughs> sir. Dude, that, I swear, that was like, it wasn't even a trip. I mean, it could have been a trip, but I didn't want to go on that trip. I wanted to go back Two to hours, sleep. bro? Just an hour there, an hour back? I told you, I wasn't thinking of, like, that's how stupid and how fucked up I still was off the weed and shit. I wasn't thinking clearly, and so I'm not thinking that I could sleep in the back seat. Don't do drugs, kids. Like the person who's done it twice and sells drugs. What are you I do not <laughs> sell drugs. <laughs> 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 I like, if you go on a trip with me, you're gonna have a good time. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. <laughs> like, there's this one time on my birthday, this was like probably 2018, 2019. I'm with like, uh, like five people and we're in Atlanta in one of my uh, former friend's cars. And so we have these fireworks cause you know, my birthday, January 1st. And so, <laughs> um, I don't remember what happened. I think one of my, yeah, one of my friends, he's in the backseat of the car because I'm driving my uh, former friend's car and this is like an SUV, like a white SUV. And so he, he lights the fucking uh, firecracker and tries to shoot it out of the window, but the shit falls between the seat and the door. And so this shit is about to go off. And so <laughs> we all pull, like I have to literally drive fast as fuck to some, find somewhere to park and then we all get out of the car like me and like the three other people got out of the car but the person who lit, who lit the uh, firecracker his door had a childproof lock on it and so the people beside oh. him got out on the right side because he was on the left side right behind me since i was driving and so for some reason instead of not getting out on the right side he was just trying to desperately open that door and so the firecracker just goes off like it's not like a bang 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 thing It's one of those uh, smoke ones, uh -huh. but dude, we could not find the residue or the aftermath of that firecracker because it burned through the carpet. That reminded me of a story, actually. <laughs> so, uh, I was in a neighborhood with some of my homeboys at the time, and it was the 4th of July, and we're lighting fireworks. I didn't touch the fireworks. <laughs> Tell me why this idiot Fucking hits the damn neighbor's car, bro. When I tell you, we hauled ass down that road, bro. I'm like, no, nah, bro. I'm not even. In the, I'm not even the one who did it, but that car definitely got hit. Yeah, dude. That 
like this is the last little mini story I'll tell. When you said hitting your friend hit someone's car, that reminded me of uh, this quick little story. This happened ironically again on my birthday. Probably like this was like 2022, uh, 2022, but also in 2020 for my birthday. So me and two people are at this Airbnb, and so this is at probably like 9, 10 o'clock at night, so it's like night time and stuff. So we go, we walk to cookout because it's close by to the Airbnb so we don't have to drive. And <clears throat> as we're walking back from cookout, we're walking through this plaza and you, there's this uh, another SUV trying to like turn right or turn left onto the main road in front of the plaza. And so as we're passing by the uh, car, my, my friend for some fucking reason, as we're walking, just goes, to the back of the car and just keeps walking and so me and my friend are like ahead of him and we hear the and so we turn around and we realize what he did because now this suv is reversing and then coming towards us and then the lady and her friend or whatever start fucking yelling at us and so i'm just saying hey look that wasn't me and my friend was like that wasn't me either and so they go to my friend who actually did it and then he's saying sorry i don't know why i did it i'm stupid i'm like in my head i'm like why the fuck would you hit their car in the first place what, what was the point <laughs> why did you slap their car yeah. you realize we're in downtown augusta right oh no yeah, he's, weird. he's doing this kind of towards the hood part of augusta downtown i almost ran away <laughs> I almost abandoned my friend again that so night. That's what you should have abandoned. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I, I don't really talk to him much anymore. But, uh, yeah, man. Talk about wild ass times. Good lord. <laughs> I feel old now. I know. I'm 24 and this shit happened. What, like? We would be pushing 30, what? Don't even. Dude, that's six years from now. Don't oh, God. But bullshit, hey, it's closer than you think. Time moving fast. When you get older, time start zooming for whatever reason. Oh yeah, and especially when you like on the days when you don't want it to move uh, yeah. fast, it'll move fast. Oh, but I mean, hey, I'm getting older. I'm getting those gains, boy. Mm! But <laughs> boy's getting a little thicker over here. Chill, chill. <laughs> Look, you live with a baker, man. Look, you are gonna gain some weight. That's what I'm that's why you gotta bounce it out. Go to the gym, bro. Uh, like, I got so many, bro. I got an injured knee. I got so many problems, bro. Excuses, you can go on the treadmill. You can go on the bike. I'm going to trip if I can't run. Who says you have to run? I go, man. Speed walk, do some power walking. No, I can run. This is my knee. <laughs> we are women, here I shout. We are women, have no doubt. We are women, we are free. We are Shut free. the fuck up. You don't even have to go to the gym. Like, walk around out here. It's hot enough to where you burn body fat. Oh, God. It, boy, yesterday, Jesus Christ, before it rained. Hey, look, back in 2020, I weighed over 300. Now I'm down to like 223, so, hey. <laughs> Y'all will not be getting an update from me. <laughs> you know, I done gained some significant weight that I should not be at. <laughs> Bury me, bro, I'll tell you that. Because when I look back in my, not my year, but, but somebody else's year, but I was like, bro, there is no way I was skinny. But to be fair, during like the summer, of, I want to say 2015, 16, it was dumb hot, and I did hoop every single day. He did. He was all over that place. He was like, "You aren't you like actually losing weight too?" Oh, please! I definitely did. <laughs> I, I was in the best year of my life. Yeah, don't worry. We're if you if you're in the heat playing basketball every single day, all you gotta do is drink water. Cause consistently, yeah, you're you know. That's really most of all I drink too is just water. And yeah, every now and then, I rarely ever drink soda anymore. So it's trash. I, I mean, I drink more juice than soda. I mean, just like not like better than water but i mean it's better than soda so no way drink out water man that water be here also vitamin c but you know <laughs> a little bit of that vitamin d too but you know anyway uh <laughs> hey, I, <yo. laughs> hmm. anyways <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed that story uh i'm sorry if it got a little bit too crazy with these extra stories but you know more entertainment more views hopefully <laughs> This just let me know. I gotta watch this, man, yo. I <laughs> uh, trust me. I'm gonna try not to take too much time <laughs> editing this. I'll probably get it done by uh, tomorrow. Who knows? And uh, I will put the link to his channel in the description, even though he has way more than me. He needs to be shouting me out. Like, and if you want to quickly... You gotta, gotta put the link. <laughs> oh, dude, this is a friend, please. I don't need no type of clout. <laughs> you want to quickly tell him what you do on your channel? 
Uh, I do mainly like anime. Actually, I do like anime, basketball. I'm trying to go more into reactions now. I've done a few challenges, but that's mainly all I do is like anime stuff because that's kind of how I blew up, I guess. Yeah, he's got hella views on this channel. He's like almost at 100k, honestly. So, go support my boy and then support your boy too. But anyways, that's about it for today. And, you know, hopefully if you guys like me having other people uh, during my videos and story times, just let me know. Don't and forget to subscribe to my boy. Thank you so much. And without any more to say, I'm on a move. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I was like, damn, why should I talk? Cause this is not my video. But okay. at the same time I'm here, so I need to say something. <laughs> We're just gonna be weird though just sitting there. Got thickums over there. Chill, chill. <laughs> I'm on the move. Can't stop me if you try. Coasting on now, baby. It's just me, myself, and I. Cause I'm on the move. Dude, go, go, go! Where'd you go? Go, turn, turn! <laughs> go, 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 juke his ass, juke his ass. No, he can't, he has a slow Jason that goes in the go, water. Jarvis. Go, 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 Ellis, go, 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 go. Go, Jarvis. Come on, Ellis. <laughs> Come on, Ellis. Come on, Ellis. Turn left, turn you left, turn left. Or no, it's fine, just go right, no, just keep going straight. Go straight, go straight, just go straight, just go straight. Just go straight. Go straight. Go yeah, yeah, go that way, go that way, go that way. You're escape, you're escape. No, no, yeah, let's go, let's go. You're going the right way. No, you're going the right no, way. Elvis, left. Come on, Elvis. Elvis, what are you Elvis, doing? Elvis. 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 Reverse. Elvis. No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh, no, my god. The opening was right there.